Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Colors and here's the epilogue video where remember in the last episode in the Sonic Simulator where we did all those zones and then this gold, gold flashy thing appeared so we're going to see what's up Ooh, what was this? Supersonic? Wait, hang on a second Supersonic is playable in regular stages? Oh wow, this is amazing like we like see right here supersonic and I'm gonna do go through all the zones well not all the levels I'm gonna go through every zone and pick one specific act that I think is the most suitable for supersonic for tropical resort for instance I'm going through act 3 since it, it, it since it's the longest act in tropical resort and it works the best for supersonic in my opinion Whoa, this is lagging quite a lot. Like I said, I'm gonna have to get a a um good better processor and whatnot to make it so it doesn't lag so much, but you know. I'm not doing too many Wii or Wii U games uh, um after this. Well Actually I like this. One more that's coming soon enough, but we'll get to that when we get to it. And one thing you're noticing is that um, the wisps aren't getting collected this time around, they're just disappearing. Except the white wisp, we can get them perfectly fine, but look here. The white, the cyan laser and all those, and the drill and all those are just disappearing and they just don't like us anymore. Well, not exactly really. That was just a joke, but a really bad joke like always, but basically, um, Supersonic can't grab, um, color powers anymore. Basically, some the level design changes so Supersonic can uh, traverse through areas where they you have to use the whips. Um, that sucked. I could have used. I could have gone to use Supersonic right there. Oh well. Try getting enough rings again. No, that's a good amount of rings. I should be able to get it there. When I get to a part, part, that's gonna kill my capture card. Wow. Wow. Okay. okay, now we can become Supersonic. And basically, um, Supersonic, I don't know, I think his speed is increased slightly, but it doesn't feel like too much. Except in Underwater, he goes insanely fast there. And he just. Basically what he does is, is he's invincible, he can boost infinity, infinitely, uh, he can jump pretty high but he can't double jump, uh, you can't play with him in bosses obviously, otherwise he'll just break them, you can't, you can't play with him in the, um, uh, the, uh, egg shuttle which is basically the challenge mode which I'm not going to show off in this LP because it's pointless to show off, basically, is a challenge mode where it goes through all the stages in the game and you, you it's basically a high scoring thing and you go through all the challenges in one go and you just, you just get scored on that it's nothing too special but it's just there if, you're, if you care about that which i don't really i've done it a couple of times but that's only out of boredom or if i want to just play the whole all the levels or something but yeah let's act three done with but when you do complete a level, you just turn back to regular Sonic for some reason. I don't know why. But there's that. Next oh, also, I haven't mentioned this, but the way you get Super Sonic in the uh, uh what should I do? I, I guess I'll just keep Act One then. Oh, sorry about that. Still have hay fever and all. Ugh. But. How you, how you get Super Sonic in the DS version is completely different from the console version, the Wii version more like. Basically, uh, it's, you go through special stages and it's the half pipe that we've seen many times before from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And basically, you do all those and you get the Chaos Emeralds. And unlike this game, you don't play as Super Sonic in regular stages. You have the suit. You, you still have the Egg Nega Wisp fight, which is not, doesn't have a, su is, isn't supersonic based. This time around, 
the Chaos Emeralds unlock a special secret boss fight and a uh, secret ending to the game. And it's kind of funny how they put an ending in it, and it's kind of referencing Sonic Lost World because we see, if you guys have seen the footage, they have shown color powers there. And uh, in the ending cutscene, Yaka says, "I hope I can. I hope I will be able to meet you again, Sonic, or something like that." And that's kind of funny because we see the wisps in those gameplay footages, and in that gameplay footage and all that. So. That, that's kind of ironic it, like, in a way, uh, they probably planned it way ahead, but I, I want to know how Yaka, well the whips in general, uh, are going to come back and come come back to go to like Lost Hex or something, or if this one of their worlds or anything like that, because they're going to have to do some really good explaining if they want to tell us how the whips got got there or, and all that, or if they were already there to begin with and it was a planet that we never saw before guys. but that's interesting but we'll just have to see when the game comes out which is uh, this uh, probably around November because they didn't say holiday season and also one thing I forgot to mention is that once you uh, press do those trick um, trick events you do you do go straight to amazing and yeah Super Sonic doesn't. Super Sonic also gets you 2,000 points every two seconds, I believe, and it's not too broken because it's actually quite a lot. It's actually not easy to uh, you. You can't really use him to like spam S ranks. I mean, I, I mean you can't. I'm pretty sure you can still try and get S ranks, but it's easier to just spam wisps and all that and just use color powers instead because they give you a lot more point, points and all that and they, they lead you to ring bonuses like areas with loads of rings and stuff like that so it's easier to just go through that instead I mean Super Sonic is still cool and all but it's just not made for s you know uh, if he was then uh, the game would the game would just miss the point of of the whole ranking system and make it make it challenging and that, that's what uh, how that's what generations dropped the bar with the S rights they were way too easy I mean the missions kind of were challenged at some some of them were uh, but mo most of the main well not if not all of the main levels were just really retardedly easy to S rank as long as you didn't lose a life you're pretty much guaranteed to get one and in this game you you it's based on uh, using the color powers effectively and finding lots of rings and make sure you never you don't get hit and if you do you just have to basically try and recover that the loss you you had and stuff like that and then you get an S rank that way uh, with, with with um unleashed you basically have to be really skillful, you have to make almost no mistakes and th that's probably the hardest game to S get s rank for in my opinion. I don't know about 06 but I've heard that once you, w once if the game's being nice to you and it doesn't glitch out or anything like that, then it's actually kind of easy to s rank but most of the time when it does, from what I've seen and heard, the game glitches out like almost all the time and it just doesn't work in your favor you know and it, it, it just usually gets you in like an A or a B or something and yeah I've also made a a long time ago a long time back uh, I made a supersonic video for this game uh, you can watch it if you want if you don't mind me having a camera and stuff and all uh, but uh, it's just some random video I decided to do because I just unlocked back then. I just unlocked Supersonic, so I just thought, hey, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna uh, go to do a uh, Supersonic video, just show the viewers th this because I think it's pretty cool. And remember, like I, how I said, level design changes. Well, since we can't use Cube, there's springs here that launch us over here, so we don't have to do, worry about all that stuff.
Oh, I was trying to boost so I could I didn't have to go down here very well. You can do that, I'm pretty sure, but oh, oh well, it's not the end of the world. Okay, business. Uh, yeah, I think Super Sonic is, too, is a little bit faster. They, the, they can't make him go like at light speed, you know, because if they do that, the game would, well, the Wii wouldn't be able to handle that. And well, and, and no, it's, if you, if they made Sonic go at light speed, then the game would be uncontrollable. Because you know, with the whole max speed section for those six, that didn't work out well at all. But they are kind of bringing that back with Lost World. Apart from it's more controllable, we can actually attack enemies and all all that. It, it, Okay, I'm gonna think for a second. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go for Act Six. Uh, it you, it controls it, from what it looks like. It controls fine, and it's it doesn't feel like as uh, like. Oh, I'm gonna restart. That was terrible. Uh, okay, this I have a slight delay. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I have a slight delay. So when I jump, it jumps slightly later. It, it's not too big. Of, it's not too big of a deal, but it's still kind of annoying. Oh well. I think there's some rings here, so I'm gonna go for that. Yep. Just like I said. Ah. I only got, I only got two though, but it doesn't matter too much. Whoa, that was lagging a lot. I'm actually watching this through my record. I'm not actually watching this through my uh, Wii U HDMI free output, actually. Which I, I uh, from now on, I'm gonna be watching the recording. Wow, I can't gonna restart again. Sorry about this, folks, but I completely forgot that I couldn't use the color powers and I try using the hovering like an idiot. The hover, not hovering. Ah, oh, okay, I'm not gonna go for that whiff. But comment, comment how if you think the uh, lag is 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 annoying, if it's not too bad, if, and you can live with it for the time being, or what and what have you, because. Uh, I do have the Ocarina of Time and Mario 64, which is both uh, N64 games, which work fine for me. They run perfectly fine, but for the time being, uh, Wii games may lag slightly, like you see now. Uh, I'll try getting some of these rings. I've got some. See if I can get 50 out of these. Yep, there we go. Okay, I'm not gonna rest with this. There we go. Whoa! I forgot about that. Yeah, it's just it's just such a blast going at insane speeds with supersonic. Uh, it's just really entertaining to just go crazy fast, you know. Woohoo! Uh, we're gonna have to go one way. We can't just cheat us up there and just use the spikes uh, we're gonna have to actually platform our way but it's not too big of a deal because it's not too hard but with the lag and the slight delay it might be a bit of a trouble and with so supersonic like slightly slippery speed is he still controllable don't get me wrong but he's just slightly slippery but that's expected because he's always been slippery in, in like the classic games um, not not so much in Sonic 4, I think, because I I think Sonic 4, Sonic 4 Super Sonic controls better than the classic Super Sonic. Does it just well minus the bad physics, I guess. But it just he, he's just like not so loose and like zooms off just by a tap of a button. But I'm really happy that how they turn how the first time. How the first time using Super Sonic 
in 3D in a 3D game for for like the actual levels and stuff turned out. But Generation Super Sonic was a huge letdown. I mean, they. Okay, sorry about a quick edit right there. Just had a quick interruption, but basically what I was saying is that the Generation Super Sonic was just a massive letdown, and they went from Color Super Sonic, which was amazing, to Super Sonic and Generations, which it had a cool concept where you could fly, but it drains like 10 seconds of 10 rings per second, and it, it, it was just kind of lackluster compared to Super Sonic here, because it um, rings drain us one ring drains per second, which it should be, and in Super Super Sonic in that game, rings drain way too fast, and it's and sometimes you can't even boost, otherwise you just drain the ring count and you just like turn into regular again. And that's just stupid because whoa, well, that was a big lag. Like stop for a second. Man. I wonder how it will be for when I go on the water. That'll be a nightmare. Also, another thing I do haven't mentioned is that Super Sonic can bash boxes by just touching them really, and then he can break break them just by touching them as well. It's kind of hard to see from this lag, but look how fast he goes on the water. It's insane, and you can just go really fast like this. Just keep tapping really fast to get up to the surface, and it's just insane how fast he goes on the water, man. It's insane. And look, right here. Just bounce, and it pushes it really far by just tapping it. It's insane. He's not, he's called Super Sonic for a reason, though. <laughs> wow, look at that. Real, real. Yeah! It is, my computer is just lagging this out. Let's see if we can time this. Yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so it's one more. Well, actually, two more levels because we're going to do terminal velocity. Uh, what level? I'll just, I guess I'll just do that six. I love the music in this game, like I said, it's one of my favourite Sonic soundtracks in the whole franchise. And they put, they really put a lot of thought effort into it, and it, it just really, like all Sonic games, it, it fits the mood of the environment, and, and it's really catchy overall. And they can never disappoint, even if it's a bad game, they never disappoint with a soundtrack. Minus Sonic Chronicles, which isn't actually a bad game in my opinion. It's a, it's an average, I guess you could say. I mean, it's good, it's good for cut beginners and like newcomers to RPGs, and it doesn't have anything too overwhelming or complex that will like blow their minds away or something. Good, but if you're coming from games like Super Paper, like no, uh, Paper Mario, the Paper Mario franchise, and Mario and Luigi, or think games like that, then you'll probably be really underwhelmed. I have seen a good amount of footage of it, and I do know what it's like. So, yeah, I'm trying to find out how to get to that section. Do do. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna try and go just straight here and just find out how to just try and time my jumps and bring attacks there. So I can get to that section with loads of rings. Bro, that was lagging very badly right there. What? Yeah, there we go. Okay, you just go forward. 
jump. Uh, jump. Jumpy, jumpy. We're the Sonic jump man. And that sounded really bad. Hooray. Oops, oops, oops. That was not good. That was lucky. I would say that right now. That was really lucky. I was not supposed to do that. That's kind of dumb though, that they allow you to use Super Sonic even though that's probably most likely going to kill you and it just turns you back into regular Sonic, Sonic anyway when you go back on the roller coaster. so re really what's, what's really the point of in that? Yeah whatever, I'm not, I'm not going to keep um, sit humming this song like an idiot. But yeah, there's not much else I can say. Like Super Sonic is awesome. He's really fun to play as. I'm really happy he's back in the um, 3D games. He's whoa! Look how fast he went in the See what I mean? How fast? How fast he goes on the wall is insane, as you can see right there. And also, Super Sonic always dives. Super Sonic always dives down and kills himself. Apparently, he always dives down whenever you. Um, when if you're Super Sonic, so he always does the like that diving thing, that nose dive, I guess. So yeah, it's kind of hard to uh, control skydiving, I like, because of that, but it, it's not too big of a deal. But you know, this guy should be easy now, though, since he can't hit me. Oh, uh, that's a good trick you can do, but it's kind of tricky to eh, pull it off. You try to get, get like, go knit right up, up to the capsule and all that. Woo! And now we're just gonna do act one of terminal vel velocity, and that'll be it for this LP. I can't believe it's over now. It's been all go well. It's been going on for ages, and it's about time to end it. Finished. Yeah. I'm just surprised that it's, it's finally over, and I'm not gonna do. Well, I'm not gonna do any LPs. Well, I'm gonna really start. I'm not gonna be do any LPs straight after. I'm gonna wait until I finish the second two uh, two other LPs I'm doing right now, uh, and then I'm gonna start off with uh, a new a new LP, which it's gonna be solo. Well, not. I'm not not feeling that, it's just gonna be me all the time. I may have special uh well I, I shouldn't really say this now but I may have special guests in future videos but I'm gonna have to test it out first to see how it goes. But I'm I may have to get the equipment extra equipment first before my capture card can handle that kind of stuff. But basically what I'm trying to what I was trying to say is that my next LP will be like it won't have enough there won't be any other LPs going on beside it though it'll be strictly that one LP and then I'll do one after that that will lead up to a game that's coming out next month actually which you guys probably know what I'm talking about but I'm not gonna give it away just in case not some of you don't but I doubt no one know I doubt anyone doesn't know because well if you don't know the you don't know then you haven't been a fan of the series and you haven't you haven't followed the new with the news and you just don't care about it. But enough of enough of me about to give it away. Here we just Oh crap! I completely forgot to oh, initiate Super Sonic. Okay. That was retarded. And basically, Super Sonic can just cheat for this level and it's really easy to get Super Sonic. I mean S ranks in this from Super Sonic because this is the one stage that creates S ranks. I mean you can just be Super Sonic to speed boost throughout the whole level, and you're pretty, you're pretty much guaranteed to S rank. There's no 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 question about it. You just inst instant S rank really. Uh, that's all you can all, all you can really do just boost to the end, and it, you're pretty much you pretty much won instantly. You have to worry about obstacles, losing rings, or anything. Just Instant S right, easily. So I've got one time. Nope, because I initiated Supersonic way too late. But anyways, 
Oh, it's been a long road, but finally, this is the end of the Super No, not Super Sonic. Um, this Sonic Colors Let's Play. So, hope you guys enjoyed the LP. I know I have. I love this game. I'm, I'm glad I finally was able to show it to you guys. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, again, oh, I've been to my Sonic Lover. And, make sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed the LP. Well, and this video, and make sure to leave a comment to, um, and tell me what what you guys thought of this let, let's play because I like I'd love to hear you guys' responses and all. And yeah, that's pretty much all. So I've been Super Mario Sonic Lover, and I'll see you guys for the rest of the let's for the Ocarina of Time Mario 64 let's play. So I'll get, see you guys with them and for the future LPs that I just mentioned. Well, not really mentioned, but you know what I mean. And yeah, so again, hope you guys enjoyed this LP, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone. Hope you guys have a nice day.